Hey everybody, welcome back to Steve's Gear. Today we're going to take a look at a knife that I'm really excited for. Now, recently, probably within the last couple months, I've kind of got into slip joint knives. Um, you know, I've been watching videos on online, and I picked up that Benchmade proper about a month ago. And I have a couple Swiss Army knives, but I kind of wanted to step up my slip joint, slip joint game. So, I picked up uh, the Jack Wolf Big Bro. So I kind of wanted to just do a little bit of an initial impressions on it. Um, I already took it out of the box, as you can see. But I kind of want to just go over what you get in the package and then kind of give you a couple of my initial impressions. Um, full disclosure, like I'm not a, you know, I'm not a big knife guy. I'm not a big knife reviewer. Um, you know, I just kind of buy what I like. So if I don't know all the technical aspects of a knife or, you know, the terminology for them, kind of forgive me I'm kind of just learning so with that said we'll go ahead and take a look at it you can kind of pause and read that it's a pretty cool story by Ben who's the owner operator of Jack Wolf Knives uh, pretty cool thing and then inside the box you get um, this kind of can that it comes with it super cool artwork on it it's that big bro Jack um, I think it's just super cool. It's kind of got that picture, which I think is kind of depicting the big bro and the little bro. Um, inside the can, you get um, kind of like a little pog here. Same thing. It's got that same art on it. And then you get the little logo on there. Um, I mean, even the details, like in the lid and stuff, are pretty cool. It's embossed on that side, embossed on that side. And then inside, you would get the slip, which I already have out. Um, the knife comes packed up in this blue, big uh, kind of microfiber towel. So it's always nice. It's always nice to have a big microfiber. And then you also get a sticker uh, inside of it. It says family. It kind of has that same logo on there. So pretty darn cool. Um, I like it when you know things come with a little bit of extra stuff. Um, this is definitely not an inexpensive knife um, So it's kind of nice when they throw in a few extra things Like I said you get that slip let you guys kind of take a look at it I've already got the knife sitting in it But it seems like pretty good quality, you know, I've done a couple slip reviews on the channel Somewhat recently, so it's nice that this one comes with one I'll go ahead and take the knife out uh, It's a little tight. Let's break it in nice though but not too bad. But yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look at the knife. I hope that everything focuses well. So I went ahead and picked up the black micarta version. Uh, there is some other beautiful versions on there. Um, you know, different prints on them like Nebula and things like that. Um, but I, I don't have a whole lot of micarta stuff. And I'm actually a big fan of micarta. And I hear that this is the last year that they're going to offer micarta on the uh, Jack Wolf knives. So... I thought I'd go ahead and just pick it up in that one then. Um, and you save a few dollars if you pick up the micarta version. Not a whole lot. I think like $15 you save. Um, the silicone's in pretty expensive. Now, the craftsmanship on it is phenomenal. I mean, everything just matches up perfectly. The micarta blends in awesome. It's got that bead blasted titanium. Uh, kind of with those micarta inlays. Just looks great. You know, everything. It's got those polished titanium hardware. I mean, just really, really nice. And then as far as the blade goes, you get that nice, crisp action. Uh, you get that beautiful blade. You can kind of see the grind marks in it still. I really like that look. Super thin edge. Probably going to be a phenomenal slicer. And this one comes in an S90V. So this is my first S90V blade. Um, you know, I hear great things about the steel. Uh, it's probably, honestly, more steel than I really need, but hey, I'm more than happy to have it. Got that little Jack Wolf signature there on it. Um, it's got a little nail neck, even though I don't really use the nail neck. Um, it is definitely a little bit heavier of a pull than that bench bed proper that I have, but it's still not too bad. Um, the blade shape is awesome. I love that blade shape. I mean, the, the end comes down to almost like a needle point. I mean, it's super nice. Really like it. Yes, that, that crisp action is so nice. I mean, it just... 
I believe they call it the walk and talk. Um, <laughs> it, uh, yeah, it just, it's just so crisp, you know. I like Benchmade. I like the Benchmade proper. But this one, I mean, the action is just miles ahead of it. Um, yeah, I just find myself just kind of opening and closing it all the time. You know, the pull is definitely stiffer than the Benchmade. But it's not anything that's, you know, excessive by any means, at least in my opinion. Um, this knife inspires a lot more confidence in me as far as when I use it, when I have it open. Um, you know, it fits the hand really well. I can get pretty much all four fingers on it. And uh, the blade is pretty stiff. Um, you can put quite a, few pre quite a bit of pressure on there before the blade actually, blade actually breaks. So, um, you know, it is super nice. And yeah, I really, really like that action. So I definitely, definitely excited for this one. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos on Jack Wolf knives, you know, the different models and styles and stuff. And I've been kind of on the edge on pulling the trigger on one for a while. And this one came out last month and I watched a few videos on it and I thought, man, I'd really like to have it. And finally decided to pull the trigger and pick it up. I'm super happy that I did. Um, yeah, it's just a phenomenal knife. I've been playing with it non-stop since I opened it yesterday. And, uh, yeah, in the future, I'm going to do, probably do another video, kind of maybe a little bit more in-depth of review after I get a little bit of pocket time with it, maybe to use it a little bit. You know, I can talk about any pros or any cons that I find. Um, I may oil up the micarta, kind of get a little bit of that darker look. Haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, that slip, I mean, you saw it in there at the beginning of the video, but fits in well. You know, it was a little a little bit tight at the beginning, but, I mean, it's breaking in super easy. So, yeah, it works out great. And, uh, yeah, beautiful knife. Um, really excited about it. I don't really know if my Jack Wolf collection will get huge, just because they are kind of expensive, so... Yeah, this will be one that will probably last my lifetime, I would imagine. Uh, seeing that I don't lose it or anything like that. But, yeah, it's a it's a great knife. Um, but yeah, just wanted to share it with you guys today. Just kind of wanted to go over, you know, what comes in the package and things like that. So you guys can take a look at it. And then, uh, like I said, maybe here in a couple weeks, I'll do a little bit of an update on it. See how everything's been going. I've been liking it. And uh, if you, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments. If you have any Jack Wolf knives, let me know which one you got. Or even if you don't have any, let me know which one's your favorite. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.